Colin Sexton of the Cleveland Cavaliers has been an absolute bucket since being drafted number eight overall back in the 2018 NBA draft. Now, last season, he missed the entire year with a knee injury, and the Cavaliers, in a sense, kind of moved on from that. Having Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, guys like that, this team is definitely set for the future, and it leaves people wondering, does Colin Sexton fit in with the current Cavs culture, or is it time to move on? Now, with these rumors circulating, there is definitely some teams out there that are interested in the young guard, and I will say straight up, the kid definitely can make an impact on the NBA roster. Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So there has been a rumor leaked by Chris Fedor, who is a Cleveland, Ohio sports analysis reporter, you know, guy like that, uh, talking about Colin Sexton, man. And according to Chris, there are two teams that are at the biggest risk of taking Colin Sexton away from the Cleveland Cavaliers, and that is the Indiana Pacers and the Detroit Pistons, man. Detroit basketball, baby. And uh, there was also a third team I kind of been like seeing like here and there talking about the San Antonio Spurs potentially having interest. But for today's video, um, I want your guys' opinion. Do you feel like Colin Sexton should stay with the Cleveland Cavaliers? Or do you think it's time to move on because the Cavaliers obviously had good success uh, when he was out for the season? Or is he going to be the type of player that is going to excel the team to the next level so i mean like before he went down with his knee injury the dude was averaging like 25 points per game absolutely insane like a really good score but at the same time too if i remember correctly there were some locker room concerns about players on the cavaliers just saying things that count sex in the ball hog and things along those lines now when i look at the teams that are interested i kind of want to go through each one and kind of see if it like makes sense let's start off with the san antonio spurs should Colin Sexton join a Greg Popovich coach team, man? Well, I look at the backcourt of the team right now. You know, they have the John T. Murray, who obviously is an all-star. Um, as far as him meshing with Colin Sexton, I think that definitely has plausibilities to work. But, uh, you know, they obviously got like Josh Primo on the team right now, now, who they drafted, very young shooting guard. And I still think he might be somebody that could be a few seasons away anyway. So Colin Sexton is somebody that can come on the team right now and I think have an instant impact. While obviously, you know, Josh uh, working on his game and everything, season in and season out. Now, some more opinions on Colin Sexton in general and what kind of type of role I think he could have on the team is like the San Antonio Spurs or really any other team that he goes to. So I will admit, for a while, I was not a huge Colin Sexton fan. I remember when the Pistons actually trade away Andre Drummond, like, during the trade deadline, live on stream, I literally said, oh god, I hope they don't trade Drummond for Colin Sexton, lo and behold, we ended up getting Brandon Knight, kind of take that one back, I, I apologize, Colin Sexton, I take that one back, that definitely was not a very good circumstance, but in general, you know, Colin Sexton has grown on me as a player, in the sense that, I just feel like he's got that he's got that grittiness to him, man, which I really love in NBA players. You know, like this is the man's defensive stat stance, man. I call this the Kevin Garnett. This man literally be getting down like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like moving the feet. I love players like that because you know sometimes that says a lot about a player's character and really their uh, willingness to win and sacrifice anything on the court to win additional basketball games, right? So the Spurs, I think, could be interesting. Um, is it the greatest? I don't know about that, but it's, it's, it's a fit. Like, wouldn't be against it. But as far as his long-term role, you know, it depends how you want to utilize him. I've been saying forever, I think Colin Sexton's best role on a team would be a six-man. A Jordan Clarkson-type player. And people always get insulted and think that I'm, like, insulting him by saying that. But it's just that when it comes down, when you have a guard that, for one, likes making the hustle plays, but also likes taking a lot of shots, that can really be valuable off the bench. You know, when... Teams are subbing in their second units, and you have a guy like that that has once scored 25 points um, in an NBA season. Um, that can really get you ahead of the competition. So I love him in that role. I could also see where maybe he doesn't want to do that role. And if you were to do that role, it would be on a team like maybe even the Cleveland Cavaliers because obviously they got guys like Isaac Okoro and everything that are more like defensive oriented and everything in those regards, more uh, specialty type of role players, I should say, so that where I could see where that's kind of like the chemistry mishap between Colin and the rest of the Cleveland Cavaliers. So yeah, Spurs, I think are fine. Um, Indiana Pacers are also kind of interesting too. Now they do have Chris Duarte on the team. Uh, they obviously have that, I believe it is the sixth pick in the NBA draft, which based off of, you know, anything that I've seen as far as different mock drafts go, uh, they should be able to get a guy like either a Ivy or Shady on Sharp, depending on who the Pistons draft before them. 
And uh, yeah, so I could see like if they want one of those guards and they got, like I said, they got Chris Dorte the season before. Maybe they don't want to take on another guard. Plus already having Tyrese Halliburton, how would those guys mesh together? I think it could obviously work out. Tyrese um, is one of the best playmaking guards in the NBA. So have him handle the basketball and Colin Sexton at times taking over and just being able to get a bucket because Tyrese can also play some off ball too. Um, going back to playing with De'Aaron Fox on the Sacramento Kings. So I do think that back and forth can kind of work. But once again, Sexton does demand the basketball a lot. And I could see where the Pacers just want Tyrese being the main ball handler and operating the offense and not really having anybody else in the way. And then you get to my favorite team, the Detroit Pistons. As a Piston fan, do I want Colin Sexton on the team, man? Now, to get this to happen... I could see maybe like a sign trade happening along the lines of Jeremy Grant going over to the Cavaliers for Colin Sexton. Um, now that would be mean like, you know, Sexton would probably be getting around a 20 to $25 million per season contract, which I would say is fair-ish. Um, obviously, when a guy comes off a major knee injury, that's always a risk to take on, which I don't know, man, like dealing with like Blake Griffin, his injuries when he was on the Pistons. I don't know if I really want to do that again, but uh if it happens, it happens. He definitely could work in the backcourt with Cade Cunningham. I do think that his demeanor definitely is uh, reminiscent of, you know, like an old school Detroit Pistons bad boys team and everything. And in all reality, um, he would be another guy outside of Cade Cunningham that I would feel comfortable giving the ball to in the clutch and like, hey, come up with a big play. Like sometimes the Pistons can lack that closer type. And I know going forward, it should be Cade Cunningham. But, uh, you know, even look at the Boston Celtics, hey, sometimes it's Jason Tatum, sometimes it's Jalen Brown, sometimes it's Al Horford. You know, it's good to have those multiple options out there because when you just become too predictable, that's going to hurt, you know, your superstar and just the entire team as a whole, right? Um, and then the Pistons go out, you know, if they, if they do grab, you know, grab up an Ivy or a Sharp, I would say I would probably want to stay away from Colin Sexton. But, you know, let's say they trade um, Jeremy Grant to the Cavaliers, bring in Colin Sexton, 23-year-old guard next to Cade Cunningham. And then they use that draft to go after like a Keegan Murray or, you know, a power forward like that. Um, that would be pretty intriguing also. I'm definitely more so leaning towards like I want some of the guards that are offered up in this draft. If we're not going to end up getting either, you know, Chet, Paolo or Jabari, or, uh, Jabari, but, um, yeah, definitely a different take on things, which sometimes can be refreshing within itself. But when it comes down to it, man, uh, you know, Colin Sexton next season, what do I expect out of him? I do think he's going to have a slow, inefficient start to the season, just becoming off of, of missing an entire season of basketball. Like that does take, you know, time to get back with. And even before he went down with his injury this season, I think he played like 12 games and he had the knee injury. Um, he wasn't really the most efficient guard as opposed to the previous season where he was scoring a little bit better. Now, obviously scoring in points per game is not an, um, a direct correlation of efficiency and everything, but I do not have the numbers right in front of me, man. But uh, yeah, so I would say overall, Colin Sexton definitely does have something very much so to offer a basketball team. I can see in the short term, you know, going on a rebuild team, helping them spark the offense, but maybe as he matures and um, finds his role a bit better in the NBA, maybe realizing he can't be the number one option on a championship team. I still think ultimately speaking, he should be a six man and I'm going to stick by that until he proves me otherwise. Not an insult, nothing wrong with me and Mount Ginobili. Mount Ginobili was a big part of that Spurs dynasty. So maybe Colin Sexton can do the same. Probably not on the Spurs, but then he can maybe. And just gotta draft him Duncan. So John T. Murray can be Tony Parker. Uh, guys, that's all we have for this video. Really hope you all have been enjoying these rumor type of videos. I love making them. I love talking about different scenarios and things around the NBA. So if you made it this far, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you made it this far and you just enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Thank you all so much for watching and peace out, my friends.